Across San Antonio, property values continue to climb, and it is a steep one for folks who call the Denver Heights neighborhood home. Some people in the old east side neighborhood are seeing the value of the dirt beneath their modest homes explode to 10 times what it was valued at just a couple of years ago. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz on what's going on around Denver Heights. Well, Susie Lopez isn't budging. Most of her neighbors moved out already. These are new neighbors. This retired school bus driver lives on the edge of Denver Heights in the bungalow she bought for $10,000 when Nixon was president. Now it's valued at 16 times that. Neighbors, you hear him, he says, I can't afford it no more. In this mix of manicured lawns and neglected houses, property values are through the roof, soaring more than 160% in the past four years. Mostly, it's the land. Take this 1920s home. The land alone was valued at $9,700 three years ago. Now, just the land, 94,000. Why? The east side is, is become a hot commodity. Neighborhood leader Aubrey Lewis points to new housing, restaurants, office buildings, economic growth. I think it was just time. I think it was just time. Time and location. Denver Heights is located just on the other side of the highway. The other side of the tracks from downtown. Thing is, this land is a lot more affordable than prime downtown property, making it very attractive. In the shadow of the Alamo Dome, this acreage is now rezoned to allow apartments and a microbrewery. And vibrant artwork is splashed across a former pallet manufacturing plant where California investors are planning a large scale project of residences, offices, and retail. I don't like it. For some, like Manuel Hernandez, it's not even about higher taxes. Many here claim exemptions. It's the circling investors. They keep sending letters, we want to buy your house, we want to buy your house, and I just throw them away. To me, it's a, it's a good thing. I mean, we're, we're, I'm ready for, for new changes. <laughs> As for Susie Lopez, the offers are intriguing. But after 47 years here... I stop and think, where am I going? Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.